FTC is switching to the ZTE speed this year. It replaces the Samantha game control system and most of the NXT's function. To start configuring the ZTE speed, first flip it over. On the bottom left corner there is a small notch. Remove the phone cover. Remove the SIM card. Place the cover back on and power on the device. For activation, you can turn on the talkback voice. When presented with talkback, click next. To Select English as the language and continue. Then connect to Wi Fi. Now you will reach the hands-free activation screen. So wait for it to give you an option to activate and then click activate. When this activation fails, click done. So now it is time to optimize the phone for robotics. Remove the clock from this home screen and remove all applications except the Play Store from the home screen. Swipe down from the top of the screen and open Settings. Turn on Airplane Mode. And turn on Wi-Fi again. Go to About Phone at the bottom of the Settings menu. Find the SW version and click it seven times to enable developer options. At the bottom of the screen it will now say that you are now a developer. Go back to the Settings menu and search for developer options. Now select enable USB debugging. Connect your ZTE speed to the PC that you intend to code with. Then swipe down from the top of the screen and select the option that says connect it as a media device. Tap Install driver. In a few seconds, the autoplay on Windows will act like there's a CD drive connected to your PC. So go to Windows Explorer and open up that CD drive. Go, go choose whichever system you're using and then hit the setup executable file. Select Yes at the firewall. Select English as the language for installation. Select Next at this page. You can change the file with which, uh, in which you can install the driver, but I'm going to install it in the default program files folder. It's going to extract the files. And then it is finished with installation, almost. Once it's finished with installation, click Finish. And unplug your phone from the computer. Now reconnect your phone to the computer. And select charge only. So we'll now automatically exit to the home screen. 
The next step is to go to the Google Play Store and download the FTC Driver Station and FTC Robot Controller apps. This part is pretty intuitive, but you need a Google account to do so.